What is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another Diecast Haul. This is my first Diecast Haul 2022, first IndyCar Haul, IndyCar Diecast Haul of 2022. And man, oh man, I got these four amazing cars online. Three of them from eBay, one of them from eBay. I'll tell you which is which. And with that being said, Let's begin. I am sure you guys will love this because, of course, I love these. But yeah, with that being said, here we go. So first up, this is Graham Ray Hall's 2021 United Rentals Honda Delara. And this was a Buddy Rice throwback to the 2004 Indy 500 when Buddy Rice won the Indy 500. It was shortened due to, like, weather, especially tornado. So, Yeah. Ray Hart Letterman landing and racing was celebrating like a 30, 30 year special of them being in the sport and Bobby Ray Hall as an owner, I believe. So, yeah, and Graham, United Rentals did a throwback to Buddy Rice. And sadly, we all know what happened to Ray Hall that race. Uh, he had, I mean, he had a good race, of course, and then during uh, one of his pit stops, sadly, his last pit stop of the race. Um, they dropped the jack too soon, and, um, when Ray Hall was in turn two, uh, about to, in the apron, about to go back to the racetrack, um, his left rear tire fell off, and unfortunately, uh, he crashed out, and that ruined his race, and, yeah, it wasn't meant to be for Ray Hall, and especially, like, what sucks is that... Like, I got Buddy Rice's 2005 car during the month of May last year. And so, yeah. It was unfortunate to see Graham crash out of the race. But he did get to run this beautiful throwback. And bam, look at this. Wow. Like, new car smell. And I just gotta say, this right here is a beauty. Maybe I can do, like, a die-cast comparison between Buddy Rice's 2005 car... And Graham Ray Hall's um, uh, United Rentals uh, throwback to Buddy Rice. So this is very cool right here. Next up is it is another Ray Hall Lemon diecast, but last year. No, not last year. Um, two years ago. And this is going to be on Takuma Sato's 2020. Um, what, what is the sponsor? People Ready. Uh, People Ready. A, t a true blue company, uh, Honda Lilara, and this was his second Indy 500. Sato won the 2020 Indy 500. Unfortunately, we all know about that race, about the race with no fans because of the, the depression, I mean the pandemic. And um, the 500 was moved to August 23rd. No fans. And yeah, although it was a good race, but to be honest, it just feels empty. Not because, of, like, I mean, yeah, because without the fans and the atmosphere of the greatest spectacle in racing, but and it's just 2020 as a whole was just a depressing year. And yeah, so here is Takuma's car. And bam, look at this. This is just wonderful right here. Very beautiful. Wow, just... What is there to say about this car? Beautiful, beautiful livery. Beautiful die cast. Just, wow, I just love the colors of the car. Blue, um, some orange, um, and white as well. Like, got the orange stripes. I think it just goes well between the blue and the white. Just looks amazing. Just beautiful right here just wow very beautiful all right so i've got two more cars to go just let me clean up my desk a little sorry for being out of focus and hopefully you like this view so far i'm using my tripod and um and also my stool so that's why like you can see like a bunch of my nascar diecast with boxes so yeah so Third, the third car we got is Ryan Briscoe's 2014 
NTT Data, uh, Chevy uh, Delara from Chip Ganassi Racing. And remember when Auto World made IndyCar diecast back in 2014? Yeah, they faced criticisms because quality, oh, the quality sucked. Um, it wasn't the best, like green light was. But it was unique to see green light and Auto World make IndyCar diecast, like two different companies make IndyCar diecast back in 2014. But I think Auto World just stopped making IndyCar diecast after 2014. And also, um, you got the reason why we had the IndyCar logo because I believe this diecast was made before the announcement of Verizon sponsoring the sport became a thing because IZOD became a sponsor from 2010 to 2013 and Verizon became a sponsor of the series from 2014 to 2018 and then when now we got uh, NTT. Oh, speaking of NTT, look at this. So. I gotta like open this car a different way, so I'll be right back. All right, so I had to like open this packaging a different way because it may look like the green light packaging, but it's a like the packaging is like shorter than the green light packaging. So yeah. And by the way, I never touched the the outer world version of the IndyCar diecast, so this will pretty much be my first impression. I heard that like these cars are like plastic or something. I don't know. So, this is my first impression of opening a 2014 IndyCar diecast from Auto World. Alright, so, I guess I just gotta, like, take this away. And, here it is. So, this is Ryan Briscoe's 2014 NTT data. And, of course, like, I did get to see this library, this car race in person at St. Petersburg. And, well, yeah, this, yeah, this is like green light. Like, the pods are like green light. They're all, the pods are bouncy and all that. And, um, I don't know. It does feel metal, but, like, I don't think, like, green light metal. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe I gotta do, like, a... Like a green light and auto world indie car comparison. If you guys want to see that, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But either way, this is still awesome. And so far the quality here is I mean, yeah, you can see like the some issues right here. The NTT data is misplaced on top of the Chip Ganassi Racing logo. Oh look, an energy drink in 164. TNT energy drink. Wow. I, wow, I just, that's interesting, honestly. I mean, it was 2014, and this is an IndyCar diecast, not a NASCAR diecast, so yeah. Oh, look, some screw-ups on the pod right here. The, oh, my God. Oh, my, hold on. I, I got this on eBay. This is the only car I got from eBay for 10, 1049 free shipping. Oh, my, wait, hold on. Hold on right here. Oh, I thought, like, the the sponsor's, like, all crooked. But, mm, some of them were just misplaced. Yeah, I remember, like, people were criticizing Auto World for, you know, like, let's just say they were, like, lying now, but, like, not as bad? But, I don't know. All I know is I heard, like, oh, the quality sucks. Oh, the, the, oh they always mess up or something. Like... I mean, the re I mean, I'm happy to get this because I got this for 10.49 for shipping. My first IndyCar Auto World diecast and my third ever DW12 diecast. So hell yeah! Oh look, they have the TV camera on the on the plate of the rear wing. Just, I am honestly, I know some there's some mishaps in this car, but it's still interesting. Hell yeah! I'm happy to own this either way. All right, folks, the best for last. My fourth and final IndyCar diecast that I got for this haul. And man, oh man, this is the most, I mean, pretty much the most popular diecast so far. And the most anticipated as well. And I guess you could say it is historical. And this right here is L.U. Castroneves' 2021 Indy 500 Champion Diecast. And, yep, if you guys saw my 
2021 Indy 500 reaction video, um, you know how my friends and I felt about LEO tying history with AJ Foyt. Um, fuck, I'm an idiot. Uh, there's the information here. I'm so stupid. What the hell? Uh, AJ Foyt, Al Unser, rest in peace to Al Unser, Rick Mears. So, Elio Cashnavis tied history alongside with AJ Foyt, Al Lunser, and Rick Mears to be a four-time Indy 500 winner. Elio is the fourth driver to be in the four-time winner's club, fourth driver to win four Indy 500s, a lot of fours. And Elio is looking to become the first driver to win five Indy 500s. Does he have a chance? I hope so. And it's going to be huge if Elio wins his fifth Indy 500. It's a matter of when. Let's see. So, yeah. This is the diecast that I've been wanting the most. I mean, not only because it's another Indy 500 winning diecast or because it's another IndyCar diecast, but this is just a historical piece. And, my God. And this is also Meyer Shanks. First Indy 500 win and their first Indy car win ever. And now this year, Elio's back in the 06. Simon Pagino's in the 60. Yeah, Michael Shanks hired experienced and amazing drivers. I just hope they do well. And Jack Harvey is, I think, in the 45 this year or in a 30. I know he's in Ray Hall Letterman. Long guards in Ray Hall Letterman. Uh, Ray Hall Letterman. So, yeah, I'm trying to... Man, these things are annoying. Fucking hell. Okay. Alright, can I open the car? Uh, oh. Yep, I can. Also, there's like a... Some, a cut here because... Like a cut here. I cut the packaging. The card is fine. The card is fine, by the way. But the reason why there's like a dash here because I was opening the packaging with with this to open the package, but I accidentally cut the the package of the card, no, the diecast too. But thankfully the card is fine. Package not so much, but don't worry, I'll take care of it. And uh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that I'm holding a diecast, a historical diecast. Wow, just, oh my god. Like, as soon as it was publicly released, I had to get this. And thankfully, I own this. Oh my god, just, wow. Like, Elio started in the top nine, and... Did anybody really, did anybody expect Elio to win the 500? To be honest, I didn't. Like, my picks are usually Carpenter, Power. I mean, you know, I Carpenter because he it's his home track. He's always fast in, like, qualifying and bump day, but... Um, I always pick Carpenter to win alongside of Power, of course. And... And I don't think I picked Elio. I think I only picked Carpenter and Power. Um, that's about it, I think, but, but to see Elio tie history with other legends, it's just, I'm so grateful to see that race on TV. 5.5 million people saw the 2021 Indy 500, the most viewed Indy 500 race since 2016, I believe, and... For a crowd of 135,000, since 40% of the of the people can attend a race and nobody was in the infield because, you know, protocols and all that. It was still awesome to see this race. And honestly, the race in general, a lot of people are saying this is one of the one of the greatest Indy 500 races they've ever watched. Like, in my opinion, I do agree with those people. The race had everything we wanted storylines amazing racing like excitement and in a popular driver making history how fitting how fitting nascar wishes 
to be like that, but they force it, so yeah. This is why IndyCar is better. And uh, yeah, I know there's gonna be like uh, hateful comments about me, but I don't care. IndyCar is the best, and just wow. In my opinion, the 2021 Indy 500 is like top three for me. Probably, I don't know. Will there is there ever such thing as the greatest Indy 500 race of all time? I don't know. Is 2021 the greatest race of all time? The greatest Indy 500 race of all time? Maybe. Pretty much. I don't know. But the racing had every. But the Indy 500 2021 had everything, and they delivered. And also the coverage was fantastic. Chef's kiss. And as for Elio, Elio has a chance to drive for five. And he's doing full-time this year as well. So, yeah. And also, I hope he gets five. I really hope so. He has a chance. All right. So, that is all for my first diecast haul and first IndyCar diecast haul of 2022. And so, I'll tell you which cars I got from, like, Amazon, eBay. So I got Elio's 2021 Indy 500 car on Amazon. I got Graham Ray Hall's 2021 Buddy Rice throwback on Amazon. Takuma Saddle's 2020 Indy 500 car on Amazon. And I got Ryan Briscoe's 2014 NTT Data on eBay. So yeah. And honestly, these are amazing hauls. And... I'm forever grateful on these cars, of course, and these are just beautiful. I love them. I love them. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this diecast haul. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. Also, I did order a NASCAR diecast today, and it is a 2021 diecast. What is it? Hmm, I can't tell you. But if you want to know, you know what to do. Comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. So expect a diecast review coming up, I think, next week, I believe. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is Impress48, signing off. And Ellie was going for drive for five this year, and woo, IndyCar.